welcome back guys to a brand new video on the channel. Now today is actually going to be the start of a brand new arc series on my channel. Recently Wildcard created a brand new page which I thought was absolutely amazing, especially for the community called Game Suggestions. Now what this is, is Wildcard give us as players a chance to actually, you know, gi like give, give suggestions of what we want to come to the game. This doesn't have to just be content, it could be fixes, it could be balance changes, it can be everything like that. But also one of the most exciting things was to be able to give your own suggestions about what may be DLCs, TLCs or anything like that you want to come to the game. Now this brand new series is going to be taking a look at the new, like most popular DLC suggestions and everything like that, and mainly the ones that Wildcard respond to because you know, they're the ones that are mostly being looked at. I've actually created one myself, which you guys have managed to get to number two right now on the game suggestions page, which is fantastic, which is like new TLC and new dinos a bit more often, which is great to see. But we are going to be checking out this new DLC suggestion and then the response from Wildcard on this. I think it sounds absolutely awesome. Some of us have got some amazing ideas of things that art can have in the game and I'm really, really excited. Wildcard did say they will respond to the most popular ones, but not only the most popular ones, they will be looking at, you know, even ones with zero votes and trying to go through as many as possible. But obviously, if you do have more votes, then you'll start to see, you know, Wildcard will see it a bit more easier. And also, if you guys have any suggestions, all you have to do is go onto Arc Game Suggestions, type it in, create an account, pose your suggestion, and if it's, you know, and it will be there right at the top because it's new. And if people think it's a good idea, they'll vote it up. Put it in the comment section down below as well, and I will try and support some of the ones I would like to see as well, some of your ideas, and we can make this, join this into a new series that I'm doing. But before that, make sure to smash a like if you like the, uh, well, if you like the idea of this new DLC suggestion, I think it sounds fantastic. Subscribe if you're new around here, as we're on the road to 150,000 subscribers, and let's get straight in with the video. I wanted to give a quick shout out as well to the guy that suggested it. This is his account right here. Really looking forward to showing you guys this because when I was reading through, I thought this sounded fantastic and it's great to see it's had a response by Wildcard as well. So, hi guys, reposting this. Um, so I'll be adding more within the weeks. Um, and the reason why he says reposting this is there was a sort of suggestion page before, but it wasn't like as big as this one really is now because Wildcard have made a huge platform for us. So an aerial concentrated map with floating islands, three main islands each with one obelisk, numerous smaller islands hovering above, around and above each and below each other. The idea is that each island needs to be discovered to get all the tames and items as each island has some, uh, has some unique of both. Caves are present on the islands, artifacts, caves and build, uh, as of build, buildable caves as well. Each main island has its own biome, so the smaller ones are overall filled with resources. The bottom of the map has a small, small water buffer should you fall, so you won't be killed instantly. However, falling off your tame is a, uh, well, is, uh, is a tedious, thus can be counted with a safety rope attached to your flyer. Pretty interesting stuff there, actually. Um, so the, this map, the biomes, Snow Island, Blue Obelisk, Jungle Island, um, Green Obelisk, and Desert Plains, Red Ob Obelisk. The different regions on the map is Giant Flower Forest, The Hive, Overgrown Woods, Tall Forest, Cold Plains, Cliffside Ruins, Tundra, in, in, insect tunnels in land and insect um, well air. So yeah, I understand what the, he's trying to explain and I hope you guys do as well, which sounds fantastic. Different creatures in this map, Gargoyle, uh, gargoyle stone flyer, can harvest stone and has a certain weight reductions, eat stone immune to element attacks and found in cliffside ruins and has a saddle, giant goliath spider, goliath a, a spire, spider, uh, a giant bird eating spider, excels in killing flyers like birds, um, um, even manners which would be crazy, found in overgrown woods, Entered, uh, um, well, so basically just to go through this, this is explaining what he would like the idea of the giant spider to be. I actually really would like that because imagine how scary it would be. I know the brood mothers in the game, but I don't feel like that's 
as scary because you sort of summon it rather than actually having a giant Goliath spider that you have to find in, you know, and it can creep up on you. If you guys have seen Lord of the Rings, when the giant spider comes and, you know, that is one scary scene. So that would be pretty awesome to see. Um, so there's other things here. Bowler spider and crab spider found in tunnels, overgrown woods and giant flower forest, non-tameable. Um, a jumping spider and orb weaver, tameable, jumps from island to island, an orb weaver catches flies, hummingbird, fast flyer, saddle, very mobile and can fly in all directions, can't move when landed, so watch out for goliaths when out of stamina, um, small flyers could be, um, uh, you know, anything like that in the game, minions, uh, small creatures roaming the islands, more aggressive at night and can be tamed if you, uh, if you own a hive and can house it, that's interesting. Minion King resides in a minion hive and needs trophies to tame, boost minions and only one king can house a hive. Flying Lizard, early game flyer, weak, low weight and nothing more than a quick way of getting around. Um, so, so many fantastic ideas here when reading through it, like a lot of effort gets put into these and when you are putting in your suggestions, make sure to do that as well. Um, so structures and vehicles, taming cage, cage that can be attached underneath the island's rocks with anchors and the amount of anchors depends on the cage, small, medium, large. Support air balloon, balloon that you can attach to a ceiling to expend, extend its support by 4 meters max. Um, balloons in proximity, a tech version can be attached underneath a ceiling to support 10 meters um, and needs to be tech powered. Tech dome, so much like the tech force field but needs to be placed on foundations and can snap, on found found on snap to fence foundations to make nice slash practical buildings. Uh, circular shape with an 8 to 12 foundation diameter, doesn't require element to stay up, however expensive to craft. A chopper, primitive early game, low armor health and shoots uh, arrows and works on coal and gas. Tech plane, to a battle cargo end game plane, shoots lasers, high weight slash health, um, works on gas slash element uh, slash shards, speed can be altered by extra fuel cost. Now, this is a very talked about thing because there are a lot of mods right now on the uh, sponsored mods, um, non-sponsored mods, sorry, on the workshop, which have had planes and UFOs and stuff. So it's definitely something that could be ha that could happen in the game. But people like st start to think, do they want you know a lot of people like the primitive side of arc but there can be other dlcs which is mainly primitive and then other ones which had things like for people want things like tech planes and stuff cable cars to travel between islands and bases now that is a fantastic idea safety net slash bridge seals gaps and can be combined into a rope bridge early version of the tech bridge um minion hive so hive that shoots arrows when minions are housed in it two minions and one king can house a hive damage stacks with melee damage of all re residents combined item slash yummies safety rope rope you can put in uh, in your tamed flyers inventory prevents falling off by mistake um by mistakenly pressing the dismount button if pressed within two to three seconds after dismount rope breaks after three uses Primitive grappling hook, early version of the grappling hook, fiber crafted but has a chance to break upon use. Um, adrenaline, um, well, so this I suppose is something we, you can take, which flyers temporarily gain speed. Map exclusive item means no transfer, which again, yeah, you, won't, you wouldn't want this on like another map because that would just be too crazy. And other stuff, which is like nectar and frog legs. Now this person has said that he's going to constantly add to it, it's a huge shout out to, because I think this is actually one fantastic idea about having a Sky DLC base. I did do a video about three weeks ago now, maybe even close to a month, talking about how popular the underwater DLC is and we actually had some replies on that from the devs. And now we're going to be moving on to the comment section where said has actually said, for the development and management team, it is much more effective way of being able to see things. It doesn't mean with things with no votes won't get looked at, and the old posts were incompatible with the new system, but they aren't lost forever. 
So it's great to see that he has actually seen this post and he's uh, replying to it saying it's great to be able to see different types of ideas that they can look at and debate and see if things are possible because the most popular things is what Wildcard say want to come to the game. And then also Chris did reply a little bit more out of context but he did say also please don't make a single suggestion thread filled with different DLC ideas. For example, don't make a DLC ideas thread, then post many different ideas for different DLCs. Instead, make one of your own thread with your single idea. That way it's easier for us to see each idea as a thread of its own. So when if you do want it, if you come up if you know like an, a really really awesome dlc idea that you think that is amazing put some work into it create your own suggestion because this person here like you know just you know really thought hard through what they wanted to come with this and then they built it up and if it does sound really awesome you actually have a chance of making something come to the game just from you sitting wherever you are in the world and thinking of an idea and it could come to one of your favorite games and that is what I love about this so much now this other thing is um, you know other people are just posting different types of ideas to add to it which is definitely a great help because when I posted my thing um, there was a huge amount of people that gave their ideas saying they don't think a new diner or the vaulting idea that I talked about was going to be that good but they definitely believe a TLC every few months would be fantastic to keep us excited then he's actually responded saying um um, I don't know if this was a reply from someone else, but he was just saying different things like this that we've never had in the game, like mythical, not all mythical, but crazy new dragon types of things to have to come to the game, just like every map had like Scorched Earth Wyvern, Aberration had a Rock Drake, and then Extinction had the manners, you know, the, your own type of thing to the Sky DLC, which is absolutely fantastic, and I really, really like this idea. Make sure to go and vote this, reply, and make your own ideas. And as I said, as this is a new series on my channel, you guys can actually create your own ideas and make sure to let me know in the comment section. And if I do like the idea and I feel like it's great and it's something that I feel will be great for the community, I will make sure to support that for you because we want this to grow more and more. I've seen something and a lot of other information which I kind of want to add towards the end of the video, um, which is just recently how the devs are just saying they you know and and saying thank you to the community for helping out so much because art can grow even more than it already has and that is the painful thing when you see a game which is so amazing and popular not getting as much um, you know not growing as much as it should be and getting as much new content as it could really be doing so New Community Crunch will be coming t uh, tonight, which means a video from me will be coming tomorrow. Hopefully with some big information about more to do with this and more to do with other stuff coming with the game. Because obviously the Easter event was great and, um, and you know, we had a lot of fun. But people want more. And I, that's just life. People always want more. So I hope this can get moved on to a lot more. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video, guys. If you did enjoy this new type of series where we take a look and promote some of the most amazing DLC ideas with responses, hopefully from a lot of the devs coming very soon, make sure to smash that like button. Let's try and get over 600 likes on today's video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.